Uh, welcome everyone and uh, thank you for joining us today's webinar. My name is Sunny Makija and I'm a senior inside sales executive at Crave Infotech. Today we are presenting on intelligent warehouse using SAP technology in life science industry which will be presented by Cam Patterns and Mr. Shrikan Nistane. Uh, Cam represents the global center of excellence organization of SAP's digital supply chain portfolio since 2013. Uh, he is responsible for defining, communicating and supporting the go-to-market strategy with which leads business development and deal executions. In May 2007, Cam began his SAP career in the North American consulting organization with a strong focus of implementing SAP transportation management. He helped author the TM curriculum, delivered the training as an instructor, providing knowledge transfer to customer partners and colleagues. He has been a recipient of SAP Distinguished Service Excellence Awards multiple times of his contribution for his con contribution as a ramp up coach, trusted ad advisor and principal consultant. Prior to joining SAP, Cam served in a variety of industries providing expertise and thought leadership in rail and ocean transportation management. He has more than 25 years of experience as a consultant and practitioner specializing in supply chain strategy and business management. And now from Crave Infotech, we have Shrikan Nistane. He is a digital transformation enthusiast, experienced in SAP Digital Core, Enterprise Asset Management, uh, Enterprise Mobility, and Cloud Platform. He has more than 27 plus years of industry experience, helping organization in wide range experience with technology and technique technology and technological changes for multiple lines of business. Now, without any further ado, I would like to hand over uh, to Cam to start the presentation. Over to Cam. Over to you, Cam. Hey, thank you, Sonny. Uh, welcome, everybody, to today's webinar with SAP and Crave Infotech. Uh, I think it's still early enough that we can say Happy New Year, and I uh, hope that uh, everyone has a great 2021. Uh, excited to be here and share with you uh, some newer solutions. I know we're, we're going to get into uh, extended warehouse management where Crave Infotech or uh, Shrikant will uh, walk you through uh, their capabilities as well as what they've done with uh, our uh, customers in that space. But I wanted to frame it up, share with you some uh, newer solutions that complement our extended warehouse management solution. And so with that said, uh, giving you a, a little bit of background or, or setting the stage, if you will, for how SAP looks at logistics. Uh, so what you're seeing here is our solution portfolio for logistics, where the key thing to note is that all of our solutions are integrated and out of the box and able to support those end-to-end -end best business practices based on business processes from a variety of industries, from uh, around the globe in terms of our customer adoption and working with them and understanding their needs. Mm -hmm. So we think about logistics from response orchestration where we say available to promise. So as soon as a sales order is created, we're able to identify uh, based on our customer prioritization, uh, how do we best serve our customers based on the inventory we have available. Moving into our warehouse management and yard logistics solutions. We can support full end-to-end -end processes for all types of warehouses, for companies that have complex warehouses, highly automated, and you're gonna hear a lot more, to just customers who have uh, maybe less complex operations, but, but still have a need to understand and how to better optimize and leverage those resources. With our yard logistics solutions, we're able to complement those yard activities. So customers typically with large yards uh, supporting either rail yards, container yards, or just have um, a lot of congestion and want to better streamline how they work with their carriers coming in and out of the yards, as well as identifying where different assets such as containers or rail cars are located to optimally help either load or unload to get those goods where they need to be. And finally, we have our transportation management solution. In order to 
uh, help facilitate all of the logistics around planning, whether it's consolidation of loads, whether it's uh, tendering and exploring, finding new carriers, collaborating with them. All of that can be accomplished with our cloud-based solutions that you see on the right, our logistics business network to help give you that visibility for tracking and tracing your shipments, as well as the status of your uh, sales orders or purchase orders, all the way through uh, ultimately the proof of delivery and finally um, invoicing the customer. And then lastly, where I want to spend the next uh, several slides and time with you is to share with you our newest solution in our portfolio, Warehouse Insights, which is predicated on the fact that it is, is a cloud-based only solution. We developed and designed it specifically to augment and support our extended warehouse management solution. And you can see here, the reason we developed it is because we realize and recognize that our customers are wanting not only a cloud-based solution, but they need better support in terms of how are they optimizing and managing their warehouse on top of just the normal picking activities and the warehouse tasks that have to be uh, managed. This is um, an, an opportunity for us where we saw customers you know, wanting uh, to be able to better manage how they use their warehouse resources. Uh, given the fact that we are still in this uh, pandemic, uh, we understand that uh, folks need to be socially distanced. So there's probably a reduction in terms of the warehouse workflow and who can be on the floor. Uh, so optimization really is going to be top of mind and key. If you could go on the next slide, check, check out. So when we think about this Warehouse Insights, we developed it to be an advanced planning tool for modern warehouses to optimize their warehouse operations. We have algorithms. I'm gonna share with you how you can visualize not only looking at your warehouse layout, but being able to analyze your warehouse operations based on the KPIs that are important to you, be able to do simulations. So you get a sense of before you actually make a decision, what the outcome would look like. And so that's how you know there's uh, the optimization has been um, complementary to your strategy. We're able to also support taking in other various IoT type of data to help with this solve. So this tool will complement our EWM functionality and capabilities, leveraging our, the uh, cloud computing. So giving you that scalability, you know, but what we don't want you to think is that this is a new warehouse management system. It will not do your execution tasks such as your pick or put away. So it's really meant to complement and give you the intelligence and the insights uh, around optimization. Continuing on Shrikant. So when we looked at the interactivity of the warehouse, the first thing to understand or to know is that we're able to give you that visualization of the warehouse layout. You're not only going to see how your warehouse has been uh, laid out, but you can also start to look at different sections of your warehouse and do analysis. And so for us, the key is to improve that visibility and give you that control in your warehouse processes. Next slide, Shrikant. So when we start to want to understand and dissect what's going on, what you were seeing in these slides is that not only are you able to identify different sections and storage areas of your warehouse, but you're able to get down to the bin level and start to really interactively see how you have your items within the warehouse so that you can also, when you're doing your optimization or simulation solves, start to see, is this really the best way uh, in terms of how you're uh, storing and uh, placing your uh, materials depending on the location. Continuing on, Shrikant. So 
In order to help do simulations and optimizations, you first need to have the network model created. The network model literally is a mapping, if you can uh, imagine geo coordinates of each of your bins, your aisles, the edges, so that when SAP or our Warehouse Insights tool is optimizing or running, there's literally a distance uh, scenario or travel path that is being considered. And so in these next several slides, you're going to see how understanding the network model, how the data would be ingested for optimization. Continuing on, we looked at the simulation of orders, right? So we can see based on the orders that you have available, what it would look like from a travel distance and the number of resources being used to support that shifts activities. And when we think about resources, they could be people or they could be pallet jacks, or if you had automated forklifts, uh, you could use uh, forklifts as well as the resource in a solve in order to understand the demand for that day, how much you're going to need in order to maximize and efficiently get your goods out of the warehouse. Continuing on, Srikant. So once your simulation has been um, completed, you can then assess and look at the KPIs or the metrics that are important to you to see, yes, indeed, I saved time, I saved resources, all of which ultimately translates into money. Continuing on, Srikant. And so after you've done the simulation, you could literally then run the solve you could execute against that and then looking after warehouse management or extended warehouse management, which is really doing the picking, the packing, and all of the other true execution activities. Because remember, Warehouse Insights is a planning tool, not a execution tool. Using the resource KPI dashboard will ultimately allow you to see did what you plan in terms of your uh, simulations turn out to be what happened when you ultimately executed with those resources. Continuing on, Srikant. And so when you start to do that analysis and you see that there are perhaps opportunities to improve, uh, one of the other tools we offer is a warehouse heat map. This heat map could show you that if you had uh, an optimization that suggested uh, 20 minutes of savings. And in reality, uh, the warehouse workers ended up not realizing that 20 minutes. You can do an assessment with the heat map. You can see where the number of items were picked based on color coding, uh, suggesting, uh, you know, if, if we went with red, yellow, green, that red uh, means that that item was picked many times throughout the day or that aisle was traveled uh, too many times throughout the day, you can start to understand and maybe decongest the warehouse by knowing how items have been picked or the, the demand in terms of your inventory, et cetera. And that might be an opportunity to rearrange your warehouse layout to support a more efficient path for your workers throughout the day. And finally, one last slide before I turn it over. Warehouse uh, Insights is out of the box, ready to integrate to EWM, so you get a sense of the flow. And with that said, I'd love to pass it over to Srikant so he can share with you more about what his company or Crave Info Tech has done to help our customers using warehouse management. Thank you. Thank you, Cam. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining this exciting session. So um, you have seen what's coming um, new into the EWM. Uh, very cool about all the heat map and everything. I think we dreamt of for years. It's now in the um, in 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 the pipeline, um, and it, it's in the works for us to start using it. Um, but you know we have to get to the reality sometime, and that's where we come into picture and uh, just wanted to share what we do right so we at crave infotech this is basically how the digital supply chain 
environment uh, is laid out <clears throat> from the SAP's tool set perspective. You have EAM, you have EWM, logistics and IBP. We have pretty good presence into EAM, EWM and logistics side. Uh, today's focus is EWM. So EWM, if you look at uh, EWM is the top dark blue section. Here, uh, of course, is SAP EWM, maybe also do WM if there is a need. But the focus is EWM, uh, indoor routing, barcode and RFID enablement, and we also have um, Fiori and mobile application, which sits on top of the EWM and makes your user interface very interactive. Uh, it's more, um, it's more, um, user interface and performance improvement application than just a mobile application. So uh, how we start the journey? Uh, it's very difficult. Uh, our experience indicated that a lot of our customers, they are not aware where they are on the warehouse or intelligent warehouse journey. And uh, so we worked with, uh, work very closely with companies like Zebra and of course SAP. And we have created this uh, maturity model. So it's a warehouse maturity model. It divided into five phases and determine uh, based upon your preparedness where your organization is on the maturity model. And uh, this is uh, basically complementary. We work with you and uh, a set of questions allows us to identify uh, and, and share with you where you are. And then from there, we can help you to also create a roadmap to get you from wherever you are to the fifth phase of the maturity model. Okay. Um, and this is another uh, diagram which illustrates where you are and, 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 and helps us to find out what we can do best uh, together or on your own to get you into the final phase of the full automation. Uh, what are the different deployment options for EWM? So, um, so these are the different scenarios, EWM and SCM server, SAP EWM standalone, SAP EWM as an add-on, EWM and SCM. Um, so, these are the three different scenarios, uh, which are basically one is uh, with ECC and another is the with S4 HANA. Now, regarding our uh, uh, portfolio, right? We have um, definitely we work with you <coughs> um, different processes. Now, these pro these can be in your outbound processes, storage and operation, inbound process transit cross stock warehousing, distribution warehousing, production warehousing, it can be anywhere. So uh, we basically work with you in specific area within your organization and see how we can help you to leverage the um, EWM functionality to, for your uh, process improvement and, uh, uh, <coughs> and <coughs> reduction in the errors, improving the, um, improving the uh, process efficiency uh, within the organization. Just, I, I know a lot of you <coughs> probably using WM right now. And what are the key differences, right? The transactions, in case of EWM, they are GUI and Fiori both. So there is a Fiori uh, front end comes into picture, which also you can be used on mobile. Uh, and then we uh, bring in on top of that productivity apps, which are complementary to whatever the Fiori apps are provided by EWM. Uh, warehouse number is three character in WM and four character in EWM. Storage section is mandatory, it's not mandatory. So this is, you'll get this uh, deck and you can uh, read this at your leisure. So there are key uh, differentiations between uh, WM and uh, EWM other than the, the bunch of processes, right? The uh, EWM is capable of handling more complex processes and, and collecting right information at the right place and providing you that visibility throughout the whole uh, supply chain process. There is a lot of best practice content available for uh, EWM. 
uh, I'll just move on um, and you will have this when you share the slides. So what are the different types of warehouses where EWM is most suitable? Of course, almost all, right? Production warehouse, distribution centers, service parts warehouses. And we have one of the example of that today. I'm going to talk about that. And cross dock or transit warehouse. This is uh, this diagram, uh, this, this, this slide, it's pretty crowded slide, but very helpful, illustrates um, what is available in which EWM version, right? EWM 5.1 until S4HANA 1909. And they are clearly color coded, and which are the core processor on the top, and the supporting areas on the bottom, and the middle is the cross, cross uh, functionality. So very handy, uh, you should use that or you can use that once you get the deck. Let's talk about the success story. So this is our first success story. It's a um, large uh, multinational network infrastructure organization. Uh, they have presence in 19 countries, 39 locations. And uh, we, were, uh, we were hired to help them to optimize their processes um, and move them from Windows based devices to the Android in addition to the implementation of the SAP uh, processes. So it was a um, nine month exercise starting from the business blueprint until the rolling out into throughout the whole country. So we basically uh, took care of implementation of the EWM warehouse solution, then uh, implementation of our productivity apps uh, Fiori productivity apps and uh, replacement of their existing old hardware, which was due for uh, due for uh, refresh, and and packaging and rolling out to the throughout the whole globe. So that's our first use case. The second use case is very relevant to our today's topic is the pharmaceutical company. So life sciences pharma. Uh, in this organization, basically the warehouse. Uh, EWM is implemented for uh, MRO spares management. Uh, these are around 20,000 spare parts each plant. Uh, there are total, for the first phase, there are total 12 plants. This organization has around 40. Uh, so we started with 12. And uh, so MRO spares, and then now it has been extended to the raw material um, warehouse too. So um, again, um, pretty large implementation, implementation of the EWM in the SAP side, uh, hardware, implementation of the productivity apps. Even we did barcoding for this organization. Um, we helped them to, um, with management consulting and the supply chain expertise to ensure that their warehouses are labeled correctly, they are laid out correctly, their uh, um, uh, their spares are allowed, laid out correctly, so they have right spares available. Um, so high frequency spares are at the at the front of the warehouse, and the low frequency are at the back. Uh, and and also the the QR coding the um, the spares. Now in the second phase, we are working with them to RFID enable some of the high value spares because they want to make sure that those pairs are not going out of the warehouse without any permission. If something goes, they know that. And uh, so they are using RFID for high value spares. This is the, um, the, these are some of the pictures. So QR codes gives all the details about the item. So whenever you scan, you know what the spares are and what's the current quantity uh, and all that stuff. Um, this is how, because these pairs are pretty small, right? This is how they were before we started. And these were the devices used uh, to manage them. This also includes the uh, outside small yard, which is on the top, uh, which has uh, the liquid nitrogen, other gas storage too. And this is very important because in pharma, it's a regulated industry, right? Life sciences, and there is very important aspect of this is the tracking uh, and the tracking the QR code and barcode 
So whenever they are printed, you need to make sure they are tracked. You are not duplicating them. If you are duplicating them, you capture the reason. So there is a specialized report developed to meet your uh, GMP and FDA regulatory requirements. So that is also included as part of the process. These are the screenshots of uh, 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 of, of this organization's. Um, These are the screenshot of these organizations. Uh, this is this is by mistake. This is somewhere got copy paste. My apology. I think this PepsiCo should not be here. Um, so these are the screenshot how this productivity app looks like. If you see, it covers almost everything: put away, supplier return, plant transfer, bin to bin transfer, physical inventory, issue reservations, return reservations, issue order, return order, issue sales order, uh, QR label print. So you can print the labels out in the field, bin and QR scan and QR label reprint. And this is all tracked in the back end. Now what is driving this all, right? I'm going to focus on the mobility and the user interface side of it because it's very important in many organizations. Uh, we have seen all these, right? Uh, SAP console, tech console, ITS mobile, uh, green screen, black screen, blue screen. And uh, uh, it's just not productive. We have Fiori available with this user interface and that's those productivity apps we bring to the table. Also, it helps you to uh, simplify your architecture. Uh, there is no middleware, there is no latency and uh, uh, easy to maintain and manage. So in, if we have to summarize what kind of uh, warehouse automation uh, solutions we provide, so of course end-to-end Warehouse ERP solution, that's uh, ECC, s on-premise, or s Cloud. It can be WM or it can be uh, EWM, um, both of them. Then uh, we can help you to barcode or QR code your uh, warehouse and also the parts or the spares or uh, raw material or finished goods, whatever it is. We can also RFID them, depends upon your need. And then after that, once you have this, SAP backend is set up, you have uh, barcoded or QR coded or RFID your, uh, uh, your items, you need a mobile solution. And that's where we come uh, uh, handy to identify, analyze your use case, the business requirements, and find out what type of solution or the productivity apps are most appropriate for. Also, we work with you to find out the right hardware for that because, you know, uh, there are so many different hardwares available. Depends upon the scanning range, depends upon the use case, whether it's a uh, forklift used, uh, uh, operated uh, picking, or it's uh, somebody walking on the floor and he can pick the uh, items. Um, and so many different scenarios are involved. So we help you to create a matrix by which you can identify what is most important and what kind of producti productivity apps you need. And once you have that decided, uh, we can also, uh, our application is uh, forklift integrated, so we can automate the whole forklift management process. We, uh, in addition to that, we have hands-free picking, uh, mobile computing devices and finger scanner, augmented reality using uh, smart glasses, and finally, voice activated picking. So this is all we can provide you as an end-to-end solution for making your warehouse intelligent. Little bit about us, we are a 13 year old company. Uh, there are three companies with whom we work most. SAP, of course, we have sell, build, and service all the three authorization. We are a Zebra's premium ISV and reseller, and we are also, we work very closely with here technology. This is where we are able to provide the indoor routing as a part of the solution. Headquartered in New Jersey, and physic, global physical presence in India, Africa and also Europe. So uh, what are we passionate about? And I'm just summarizing this, of course, SAP Intelligent Enterprise, which is S4, EWM, uh, cloud platform, our prepackaged solutions, RFID and mobile computing technology and geo enablement for warehouse, enterprise asset management, field service and supply chain. These are the three key areas. Uh, we work uh, with our customers. 
this is just a sample list of our customers. A bunch of life sciences, pharma customers, happy customers. Um, this is actually a complete list of our prepackaged apps. There are around 50 plus. There's out of that, 14 uh, grouped apps are already posted on SAP App Store. You can always check for us under the App Store under Crave Infotech. Um, they are into EAM, supply chain, product lifecycle management, order to cash, uh, management dashboard, HCM, MDM, and healthcare. So um, with that, uh, this comes to the end. Um, I think uh, we have tried to give you a quick overview within 30 minutes about what's new coming in. Um, and uh, Cam spoke about the what is new into the EWM, newer version, and how we can help you to meet your goals and also regulatory requirements, especially into life sciences industry um, with the multiple success stories into the MRO spares management, uh, raw material management, and also the finished goods management. So. Uh, Feel free to reach out to us. Uh, bring your top three digital transformation challenges into the intelligent warehouse journey. Uh, we also do POCs uh, and help you to expedite your journey. Uh, these are the contact details. Um, and uh, with that, we'll open up for, if you have any questions, we'll be happy to answer those. I don't see anything typed. Um, you can type that into the Q&A or also into the chat. I see Anju is raising hand. Um, Sunny, could you unmute so that people can speak? Yeah, I'll just unmute yeah. Anju right now. Just unmute. Yeah. Just unmute everybody. That's fine. Anju, go ahead. I think Anju, uh, you are unmute. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, your pre-built software SAP certified or you know, when you say you know, are you are you uh, uh, implementation partner what, what kind of uh, relation you have with SAP yeah excuse me so we are SAP's partner uh, and we have a special relationship under the uh, build partnership where we co-innovate these applications are validated by SAP and they are, they are also on the App Store. And they are also validated by Zebra. So our applications, when they come to you, uh, they are ready to go on a uh, enterprise-grade hardware because enterprise-grade hardware, they need to be well designed to understand how to invoke uh, um, screens, how to use effectively uh, the integration with local the like scanner camera and keyboards that's all taken care of it uh, yeah our version is like ECC 6 and we Perfect. are on announcement package 7 no uh, problem. you know if I'm not sure you know from the POR you know point of view to what extent we can use or do we need to uh, you know enhance the package level no, you don't. You want You're good. It. Anything above service pack 5 is fine. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, where are you located? Uh, and could you tell us about uh, your organization? Yeah. Yeah, we are located in Bethel. Our corporate office is in you know, Bethel. And uh, we have uh, presence in uh, California, Texas, uh, Florida, and Dominican okay. Republic. What's the, the name of your company, please, and uh, you? Yeah, Bebron uh, Medical Inc. I think I typed my email ID in. Oh yeah, yeah. Please, 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 please. Right, yeah. I forgot to ask uh, one thing: is please feel free to type your name and the email address and the organization because it's very difficult to uh, find out yeah. who. Uh, that yeah. would be very helpful, and we'll continue to provide you information. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, Sanju. Any. Right. Great so, question. Uh, you know, I think, you know, since you guys are in New Jersey, we are probably maybe 30, 40 miles away from you. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. What we would like to do is, you know, maybe discuss further and see how we can, 
uh, engage you in some of the projects that we are doing absolutely uh, are you guys okay. coming to office we will be happy to come and meet you uh yeah due to covid and all we need to see what uh, options are there uh yeah we are more well you know uh, be happy to yeah have you or we can schedule something and, uh, and and get you more so uh, uh, so where we have uh, your we, yeah where we will be interested is to understand uh, you know to what extent you can you know provide us maybe after this meeting uh, we can have a separate uh, you know call and, and discuss further activities sure thank you and you appreciate if you yeah. are available please stay back and we can have uh, a yeah. separate conversation no problem mm -hmm. thank you and uh, what uh, other thing will help us is if you have say any client uh, in and around of say pennsylvania it's easy, you know it will be helpful for us to uh, kind of do a visit if possible and look sure, at their sure. operations where you have done those you know we can time. definitely discuss about that yeah yeah sure okay that's yeah. all i had for now Thank you, Anju. Anybody else? Oleg, do you have any question? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, it's uh, interesting, uh, the integration uh, with the heat map, uh, the app that you developed um, on the Fiori. It's uh, very similar to some of your some of other SAP's partners like uh, Connected Forklift. There is an app, uh, I think, um, I don't remember who, who, yeah. who developed. And uh, it is very, very useful in uh, this new digital transformation era. You know, uh, for all the analytics, for the supply chain, uh, Visualization is for a better perception. Where are so you located, I, Oleg? I am located in Romania, Bucharest. Romania. Oh, wow. You're joining from Armenia. Where are you? Not Armenia, Romania. Romania. Romania Dracula's yeah, Romania. country. Yes, yes, Romania. Yeah, I know. Yes. Romania is very famous for uh, weightlifters, right? Well, uh, uh, Famous for a lot of things. <laughs> a lot of things, right? <laughs> but in Olympics, right? A lot of Romanians in the weightlifting and also, yeah, that's yes. one of probably I remember. Yeah. Very good. Um, yeah. How can and we help uh, you? I, uh, well, uh, I think your product is uh, very useful and uh, it will uh, lead uh, to more customers to you okay. uh, very uh, very useful uh, for can you share your email address and other details Oleg, so that we can uh, keep you well informed? when when i joined in i uh, i uh, put my email address and company name okay i hope uh, i hope there you have uh, this data sunny do you have uh, yes, Oleg's yes. details we, we have we have okay yeah. Anybody else? Dan, Gabriel, Jill, Satyajit, Shaila, any, any questions? Excellent. Um, Cam, would you like to add anything for closing? Sure. Uh, again, thank you everyone for taking time to attend. Not only is Creative Infotech considered one of our premier partners in the EWM space, but uh, they, they also support other areas of SAP's portfolio. Uh, if you're not familiar with our portfolio, we're, we're uh, focusing on what we call design to operate, essentially uh, leveraging the idea of a digital thread throughout the life cycle of your product, which we call a digital twin. So we can support your company if you're manufacturing uh, widgets that all the way from the design to the manufacturing to the delivering. And then finally, uh, keeping your lights on in terms of the operation. So our supply chain portfolio is pretty vast. 
extended warehouse management is just one solution of many. And so if you have interest, I implore you to check out sap.com where you can find out all things around our digital supply chain, or you can reach out to Shrikant uh, and we can certainly have a uh, follow-up call with your company, uh, <laughs> SAP and Crave Infotech. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Cam. I appreciate that. Um, and uh, Anju, do you have a few minutes? Uh, we can uh, reach out to you. I don't know if we have your number. Yeah. yeah, if you could type privately or whatever it is, we'll give you a call and we'll have a follow-up chat. Thank you. Uh, give me one second. Yeah. I'll type it in this chat. Sure. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Have a nice day. Thank you, you too. Okay. Got it. Okay. I'll call you right. Uh, I, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm okay to, you know, keep, you know. Talk Are you available to speak well. now? Yeah, yeah. No. Okay, I'm the calling number. you right right now. Hmm? Pick up the number, right? Shikhan? Yes, yes. Yeah, Got okay, it. so I'll just end the webinar right now. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Okay, thank you. Yeah, bye.